Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So, Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to our terraforming project where we've been building landscapes and waterfalls and rivers and all sorts of other great stuff. And in today's episode, we will build trees and vines and all sorts of other great stuff above our waterfall area. So, let's get into today's episode. All right, and welcome back to Scarland as we watch this beautiful sunrise over Scarland and hope everyone is doing well today as we start the next episode here over at our terraforming project. So I hope you all had a very wonderful Christmas. So I'm trying to, hey, 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 get, 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 oh man, that zombie's all over me. I am so rusty. All right, so let's see here. So what we're gonna do today's episode is uh, we're going to build uh, some trees along here. So we're gonna build kind of a medium sized tree there and I'm thinking maybe some smaller ones along there. We want them to be set a little bit back from the cliff for scale reasons. And then we will build kind of a little bit larger tree right about there. For the uh, immediate cliff areas like along here. And so we're going to drop some vines down. Not the normal climbing vines in Minecraft. But we're just going to take some leaves and drape them off the side. So they don't spread and you know look ugly. And then uh, just a little bit of grass here or there. And yeah, so let's get started here. So we're just going to jump on over here. And let me just check. Okay, we need to go grab some other stuff here. So I forgot to grab some logs and and I think I may need some more dirt. All right, so let's get out you. Let's put, give you back. And I'm gonna probably need another stack of dirt. Where are you dirt? Where have I hidden my dirt? There's my dirt, okay. And I'll leave you that with you. Okay, so here we go. So what I was trying to say before the zombie uh, tried to maul me was um, hope everyone's Christmas is, uh, hope everyone had a great Christmas. And um, so let me know how your Christmas was. So this is kind of my, one of my first videos, kind of getting back into the rhythm of things. It's really hard sometimes to get back into the rhythm of uh, normal life after vacations or Christmas or things like that. You get super lazy after those and you're like, all right, gotta get back into the, into the rhythm of life gotta get back and you're just like yeah i want to go play assassin's creed <laughs> but yeah no i'm back to what i love making videos and um making trees nothing better than making trees in minecraft definitely nothing better okay so let's just find where we were again here and yeah perfect this is gonna be an excellent place to build our tree so i'm making my video now on one of my new christmas presents i got a boom arm for my microphone so it's really cool. My whole setup was hilarious. So oh, I wonder if I have a picture of it. I should post it if I do. So my old setup was this. So I had my keyboard and my keyboard was on a towel so I could try to limit the vibrations from me smacking the keys. And then my mouse was on top of a, of a mouse pad with another towel under that. And then my microphone was on like a piece of foam and that tried to keep vibrations and things of that nature down. And then that resulted in me having to put the keyboard at an awkward angle. And uh, so, yeah, it was pretty crazy. But uh, now with this awesome boom arm that I got from my parents, uh, I just had the microphone floating in the air. So it's pretty cool. So hopefully, I don't know, audio hopefully will be a little bit better. Maybe, hopefully. All right, so let's put that right there. And so what we're doing here, of course, is we're just building some branches. So this is the basic of the trunk. So we're just bringing it up one at a time. Then we'll, we'll thicken it as we go along. And then I'm thinking, so if this guy goes out here, I'm thinking maybe another branch kind of going out that way, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how things kind of go. And let's see. I'm thinking about putting another branch there. And another branch, maybe right. Put that up there like so. Hmm, trying to figure out how to quote, how to do this how I want it. I don't want it to, yeah, I think I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, that's good, that's good. I just don't want it to be, you know, three blocks up, three blocks up, and then it's symmetrical. That's, that's not what we want. That is not what we want. All right, so we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go there. All right, perfect. All right, I think we're, we're, we're getting, oh, no, 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 Scar, that's not what we want. All right, so we're, we're, we're getting a little off track here. So it's hard to kind of like fit this all in there. It's like little fitting little puzzle pieces together. There we go. All right, so let's just kind of jump down now and kind of assess what we have. Okay, so it looks a little a little funky dunky at the moment, but we'll, we'll remedy that, we'll remedy that. There we go, so let's make the trunk a little thicker there. Put 
that there. Oh, okay. There we go. So things are starting to come together. Things are starting to come together. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. And as you can see, w we have our new flowers and things of that nature that we got on our first episode of Hunt for Horses. So, as you know, we found horses. And we didn't just find a horse. We found 18 horses, I think I counted in the end. I've, I've tamed a good amount of them at this point. But that is a lot of horses. And I can't, I can't even go there how excited I was to find those horses. I don't know if it came across in the video, but I was completely completely blown away when I saw those horses because I was picturing us going a thousand blocks or something away from where we were trying to find these horses. Just crazy, crazy excited when I saw those horses. And uh, the first episode, and then I'm like, hey, I wonder if we can find a white horse. That would be really cool. And I'm going to name it Tippy after my little uh, toy uh, white horse when I was a kid. And boom, there's a white horse. And I'm like, wow, I wonder if we could find a black horse. I bet black horses are really fast. Like in a Red Dead Redemption, the black stallion. Oh, hey, there's a black horse over there. Awesome. Hey, I wonder if I could find my favorite uh, horse, that brown and white one. Oh, look, there it is. It was so awesome. It was unbelievable. It seems like whenever you know you want to record a video, you never quite always get, you know, sometimes exactly what you want or whatever. Sometimes you, you know, you just hope for the best. And boom, there they were. There they were. See, I don't think we would have found those horses the way we did if uh, we did if we took a right instead of went straight in the summer. See, we took a right hand turn there towards the new savanna. I think if we would have went that way in the past, I think there would have been a desert and some other things there. So it was a good thing we waited. It was a good thing we waited. So now we have a good supply of horses, and there's also uh, a lot of new flowers in that area too. So the next episode, we're going to head off to the um, the left. And on the left-hand side of that uh, area, we can find a roofed forest. And I saw it just over there. I'm like, all right, I'm not going in. I'm not going in. I'm going to save this for the episode. Who knows what we're going to find in there? So, so yeah, I really do want to find a donkey. So I definitely want a donkey and get a meal out of that. So that'll be kind of my main uh, workhorse of the server, or not server, but the world. There we go. And I'm so glad you guys like the uh, root forest tree house. And that, that thing was fun. It was a lot of work to build, but it was fun. I kind of needed just a break kind of um, to really just kind of like play around a little bit, not think of videos, because sometimes when I, when I think of an idea for a video, I'm like, okay, all right, I'll save that for a video. And then sometimes I don't get around to it and I don't get it built. And I came up with that idea and I'm like, I have to build it. And then I want to see if you guys want to see it for a video tutorial later on. Maybe we could build it in Scarland. Maybe we could do it for the creative uh, the creative series. So who knows what we could do. I would prefer to build it that maybe in survival. But um, yeah, but if you guys want to see that as the next creative build, yeah, we could do that. I was thinking either that or, you know, something up in the hills, like a kind of a village up in the hills. So what we're doing now, we're just kind of uh, adding little branches here or there to our tree, trying to keep things un not symmetrical. We want this to look kind of like a wild tree that's blowing around in the wind and stuff like that, not a manicured tree like over at our house. So let's just assess what we have so far. And yeah, it's a little funky. It's a little funky still. So I'm going to play around with it for a minute. So give me one second and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So I played around with the tree a little bit. I think it's okay at this point. We will add a little here or there to it, just to add a little bit more design to it. It's not 100% where I want it, but it's getting there, I think. We'll just add a little here, take a little off there. But I want to move on here, so let's see here. So let's get rid of you, and let's get rid of you over here. Get out of my... Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Get off my waterfall. Get off. Get off my lawn. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, good boy. Yeah, yeah, you, you're a day late and a dollar short there, dog. Okay, so we need to figure out where we want to start to make our vines. So vines are a little bit tricky because we need to actually be on to the cliff here to get to them. There we go. Okay, so I'm thinking about a vine. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out where, where vines would look good. What do you guys think? Here, I want this might be a little distracting having one here because it might take away from the arch. So I'm thinking maybe over on this side over here. So let's hopefully not get taken down by our skeleton friend over there. 
So we'll just put in our piece right there. Okay. And now for, for the vines here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of run them randomly down like so. So we're just gonna put one right there, one right there like so. And it's just taking this really, oh, oh, that was, that was absolutely, that was absolutely frightening. All right, so I actually was fairly smart this time and I brought ender pearls with me. There we go. So I think that's probably pretty good. I think that's good. So we wanna be real subtle with our vines. Nothing too extravagant here, so let's put those up there like so. I like it. I like it. So we'll get rid of all that. And I fell off again. So that's just great. Okay, so we'll just move on from that, and we'll head on over here. And now we're underwater. And now we're underwater. We are falling all around today. All right, so over here, I think we're going to run one down this side. So let's do that, so we'll get that out. Hopefully we don't take another spill. All right, still trying to get back in the groove of things. It's been a long time since I played Minecraft, you know, building-wise, you know, getting stuff done and all that stuff. All right, so put you right there, there. And now I want one hanging over the side. So let me just put you right there. Let's go down one more here. And I think I think one needs to be there. I just think think to be normal looking. I think it needs to be there. All right, all right. I get it. I think we got this. All right, good, good. So we got some vines coming down here. So that, I think that looks nice. So let's jump up here and maybe just add maybe just a bush or two right along here. Just kind of add a little nice little bush along here. And bushes need something to grow out of. So we'll just put that there. And we'll move our ender pearls. There we go. Perfect, okay, there we go, I like that. Okay, so we've got that now. The next step here is we wanna add our grass to here, but we don't want it to be too heavy. So we'll kinda of knock out pieces here or there. We also can, I do I do not want flowers up here, so we're gonna do that, we're gonna get, make sure we get rid of that. So with these, uh, so adding the grass up here, so this is something that you know we'll we'll look at as we uh, go along here, and you know knock out pieces here or there that we don't want. But let's just get the basic um, grass down here. Get rid of all the flowers. I don't want any flowers up here unless they're the uh, the uh, white flowers or maybe the mushrooms in the caves or something like that. So get that up here. There we go. Maybe a little bit more right there. Okay. And then here or there, we can add a little bit more height as it gets closer to the top. There we go, get rid of those. My inventory is full, so maybe uh, maybe I shouldn't knock them out until my inventory is a little less cluttered. There we go. Now we still have a couple more trees to add, but I wanna do some of those off camera so I don't take too long. So yeah, so we'll just knock out a few pieces here or there. There we go, perfect. Good, good. I think we got something good going on so far. So knock out some of these guys. So I don't want to be too heavy, but I also don't want to waste any in case I want to add more a little bit later. So just put this along here. Good, good. So for, for now, I think, you know, once we finish up the last pieces of uh, terraforming in this area, I think we'll probably only be down to about one or two more episodes as we try to do the rest of it fairly quickly over there and over here. I wanted to kind of really do a step-by-step -step of... Uh, how we do it in this kind of series in this area. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's something you guys have been asking for for a long time was a terraforming episode. And I was never quite sure if, uh, if it would be that good, you know, be that uh, interesting. But a lot of you, a lot of you really enjoyed it. And other terraforming ideas you guys want to see me do, you know, besides just, you know, sea cliffs and rivers and trees and things. But um, yeah, we can always do all sorts of other different things. There is uh, one project I would love to do, and that is over at the uh, Desert Cube. I would like to make another um, big arch over there. So I think that may be something awesome we could do. All right, all right, I think that's probably pretty good. I think that's good. So let's just get a little looks -y over from here. Yeah, I think that's nice. All right, so give me a few minutes and I'm gonna start working on some more treats and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, and look at this. Look at our trees. They are starting to come out pretty good. So I'm still playing around with this one, trying to get it how I want. And as you can see, I started working on two more over there. 
So we have this just kind of subtle small tree over there, and then this one will be just a little bit bigger. I'm trying to keep this area blank. I don't want to put any trees on that particular rock face over there, and we got to be careful. There are a lot of mobs milling in around this area, so we got to be careful. All right, so this tree actually I think looks a lot better from the uh, this. Well, still needs a little bit more work on this side and right there. So when you're making trees and you're doing your things, there's a lot of, I hear a lot of you guys like, oh, I can't do that or whatever. Of course you can. Just, you know, watch how I did a little bit and then just kind of go from there and put on your own little unique twist to it. But you'll never get it right in the first time. Like I did here, you know, this needs a little bit more work in here. And that tree over here needs more work too. But it's never, it's never perfect the first time. You can't let it get you down if it's just not right. You know, like, oh, that doesn't look great. It takes time. It takes time to try to figure out exactly how you want it to go. And to find that right balance between, you know, realistic scale and things like that. So it just takes time. Just, oh, hey, hey. Wow, that is an aggressive, very aggressive skeleton right there. All right, settle down there, dogs. Settle down. All right, so let's pop on up here and wow, look at that view. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Look at all the dogs. They're all over the place. But look at that, that's beautiful. Wow. All right, so I was getting a little distracted there. And let's start adding some leaves. We're just gonna add a little bit of leaf at the top here. And sometimes I, you know, there's a certain part of me right now that I slightly regret using oak leaves. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, what do you think of this? Do you think uh, pine leaves would have looked better up here as something kind of unique and different? It would have set it apart from the ground? Or is it more natural to have the leaves match the ground color? I guess probably match the ground color. But a contrasting color would look nice up here. As you can see, we have a lot of this kind of, uh, kind of, sickly green if you will um i would like to see maybe maybe another color mixed in here so i'm gonna probably do some thinking on that to try to figure out what that might look like all right and we still have a few flowers i want to add along here too before we wrap this up so i'm going to jump down at this point and look around for some expanding the leaves out a little bit here or there there we go so I'm add some up there that up there like so put that one there there okay yeah i think uh i think that's starting to look pretty nice there we go it's just a little bit a little bit of uh overhang on that side is always nice and yeah so i don't maybe hmm, try to i was thinking maybe i'll just keep this one really sparse leaf wise but i think i probably should add a few more leaves just to make it look a little bit natural there we go let's see Trying to think of a tree that I saw on the ocean once that looked just like this. It had these like kind of triangle shaped as the wind had kind of like shaped it that way. So, hmm. Yeah, I think I just add just a little bit more. All right. There we go. I think I like that. It looks like the, you know, it's been sitting up on this coast for many, many years, getting, you know, thrashed around in the wind. And yeah, I kind of like it. It's it's super goofy kind of looking, but that's kind of the point, you know. Nature uh, has its way with the tree, and the trees shape that way. And it's in the uh, Brillison winds. There we go. Um, yeah, I like it actually. I like it. Uh, for you, I would like to add a little bit more to you a little bit here. So let's just add a little bit more to you over here, and in our block right there. Perfect. All right. So once we finish up on this tree for now, we'll add our flowers and yeah, then we'll wrap it up. Okay. Let's see here. Put just a few more bushes there. Okay. There we go. I think that's probably good. What do you all, what do you all think guys? What do you think down there? <laughs> look at them all turn around looking at me. All right. Yeah. I like that for now. I think that's good. We'll just add a few uh, little changes as we go along. Okay, so flower time. It's flower time. All right, so let's actually jump down here. And I just want to add just a few flowers here or there, just to add an extra little bit of color. And I don't want to add, you know, a bunch of reds and oranges or yellows, but I just think of just a few of these. And where are my popcorn flowers? Where's my popcorn flowers? Where are my popcorn flowers? Hmm. There they are. 
There they are. Okay, good. So I'm gonna add some of these. I like to call these ones the popcorn flowers. Let's add those there. Get rid of you. Perfect. Good. Add some of that along there. And maybe no, I think that's probably good. I think that's good. Really subtle with the flowers, I think is is better than you know going crazy with them, you know. Putting a bunch of orchids here or there. I think that might be a I think that might be a little much. So we're not gonna quite go there. There we go. Just be super subtle with them. Maybe just, you know, randomly stick a couple of the popcorn flowers there. All right. You know, look at those trees. They they do look like something, you know, you might be thinking, oh, that's kind of an ugly tree or something. But, you know, the trees aren't the most attractive things on the ocean. So, all right, I think I like it. I like it a lot. So let's just get a little look from here. Yeah, maybe, you know, we could always add a little bit of sprucing up here or there. But for the most part, I think that's pretty good. I think that is pretty good. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe if you do deserve a rating, that would be much appreciated. And look down there. There is Building Inspector Bob the Creeper down there taking a look at our work. And until next time, we'll see you later. I mean, enchanting rooms. We got our little books here. And I really like how I put the carpets. What do you guys think of this? Where you put the carpet on top of here and it corresponds with the colors in the books. I thought it was unique. And yeah, so it's not your average uh, enchanting room, but it's it's unique. I like how the bookshelves are all kind of piled up. And I even think there's some stuck up there and I'm still working on that.